Hey guys, it's Kim here and welcome back to more Obra Din. I have been thinking about this so much in the, what, two days since I last streamed this? Um, so, I've just been, I've started my stream by going back, I was going back to this sort of the escape memory chapter, just to remind myself of a few things, and I decided that I am so close to identifying these chaps here, like so, so close. I know the order in which they've murdered each other, um, but I just need more clues, and as soon as I identify one, like, I think the rest of it's gonna, like, slot into place really, really easily. So what I've decided to do is I'm gonna leave the escape chapter. Here we go. So we're currently on the gun deck. Uh, so I want to go down to the all-op deck um, and have a look there. And I think once we um, figure out a few more... Um, a few more stories, a few more memories. I think we'll be able to actually really like nail who was doing what on the gun deck. Um, so yeah, let us press onwards to if I press the right freaking buttons. Um, so let us go down. Oh my god, there's even more blood down here. Um, to the Orlop deck. See, I'm just imagining how this smells. I imagine this doesn't smell very pleasant. Um, oh, there's little droplets of blood here. Oh, there's definitely something there. Hello, who are you? Is that two bodies or is that just one? Maybe it's one, but it's kind of apart. <laughs> Someone shoot the damn thing! Okay, well that was incredibly unhelpful. Um, oh my god! Uh, okay, so we've got a giant crab. Giant enemy crab! Uh, what's killed him though? Has something just like come through the bulkhead? Uh, so that is that guy. I don't think we've seen this one previously. Um, so... Oh, there's that guy who's involved in, like, everything. Oh, the music is so jaunty. Giant enemy crab. It's all really cool. Giant enemy crab. Stabbing people in the face. Come on, who are you? Can I get close enough to see you? No! Man, that music. It's a bit too jaunty for this, isn't it? So this is going to be a new chapter, isn't it? A catalogue of adventure and tragedy. Soldiers of the sea. Okay. So just by the Canary Islands on this one. In the port walk. So I got no bloody clue. I can't even tell how this person has died. Um, I, I imagine maybe if we go around the other side, we can see that there's a, a claw that's um, stabbed uh, through. Uh, one thing I want to check again is the ship. Uh, what the heck? So we are by the gunner's store. Uh, captain's cargo. Okay, lazarette is down here. Whatever that is. Uh, all up deck. Mid deck, above the lowest deck, containing storage, uh, anim cabins, animal pens, and the ship's steering tiller. And you got the gun deck. Um, but then what it said was, soldiers of the sea. So this is before... Man, these guys are being attacked by everything, aren't they? I wonder if they get cursed, like, really early on, and then it's like... Ugh. So they got crackened to death and now they're crabbed to death well they got crowned first and then crackened uh come on there we go they make for the lazarette secure the hold uh so sammy crit fiddle in chat says a lazarette is a special area on a boat it is often an area near or aft from the cockpit uh, cock. uh the word is similar to and probably derived from lazaretto a lazarette is usually a storage locker used for gear or equipment uh a, a sailor or boatswain would use around the decks on a sailing vessel. Thank you very much. 
Right, it says that that, that says that there's another body, which I'm not surprised. But where? Oh, it's, it's this guy who I keep meaning to identify, but can't identify. I really want to identify, because once I identify him, I know who he is and how he died. Um... Okay, there's another chap over here. Oh, Oh, he doesn't look happy. Um, can I go back? No, I have to identify him through the wall. Brilliant. Do, 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 do. How did you die? I think it looks like he got spiked or something. Boop. Oh, I've got you. Don't move. I'll get you down. Oh, Oh dear. Yeah, he's definitely been spiked, hasn't he? It's not looking great. Um So there's that chap there. And this chap yeah. Oh, we haven't seen this guy before. Okay, so we're unlocking new peeps. Who are you? Ah, we have seen this chap before. Um So the spikes are going that way. Inwards. Okay. Ah, this thing's dead though. Oh, good lord. Do we do we get to identify this chap? This guy's also very dead. He's a background character. And this guy here. Oh, hey, okay, he's one of the ones that dies later on. So we've seen his death already. No, don't zoom out. <laughs> I'm still doing stuff. Right. This guy, I don't know who they are, but they died via spikes. Um, spiked. By a terrible beast. Uh, oh, and we've got another one. Mm, 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 mm. Hold on, I want to see this chap here. Yeah, so that's all. Uh, so that's the bosun. So he's found later on in the escape character uh, chapter with no arm and he bleeds out. Uh, that's that guy. Yeah, so what are you doing? Just pouring a bucket of water on it. I don't think a bucket of water is going to help at this point. Um, I feel like one of these guys are this. This guy looks surgeon-y. I don't know why. I don't know why. But he feels it. Uh, I just want to see... I can't see anything else. Oh, hello. There's one chap here. Hello, you. Ah, again, he's the one that dies... Um, he's one of the mutiny boys. Well, he's the, the guy who spots... Th hears the mutiny and runs away and then, like, dies uh, in the first mate's hands. So, okay. Where's the other body, then? Are we literally getting crab death now? <laughs> How did the crab die? I think it has something to do with the many swords in him. <laughs> oh dear. Wow, that crab sounded fun though. Oh no, he was set on fire! Okay, so that's why there's a... Uh... Ooh, cooked crab. Hmm. Oh, waste a good meal. Uh, okay, so not him. Who are you, friend? Oh, okay, your middle guy. And you got set to fire quite horribly. Uh, so you're the sur... Well, I, I think surgeon or something. Especially because he's got a little apron on the bottom there. Uh, hello, who are you? Your skinhead. Your towel round neck guy. Oh, you've been spiked as well. So he's the one who dies in the corridor, I think. Yeah, so he's got a few spikes in him. So he crawls off to die over there. You've already been spiked. <laughs> Ooh. So, uh, I'm, I don't know about you guys, but I wager that this man died by being set on fire. Um, wait, no, I don't want to identify you, but... So you were burned? Torn apart, poisoned, expired, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, burned. Burned to death. I'm sure accidentally... Oh god, there's another corpse. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, before that happens... 
Just want to double check some things. So you got spiked. Oh, you've got an apron. You've actually got an apron on. Mm, so maybe a, the butcher or the cook or the mm, surgeon. Surgeons wore aprons. Um, oh, hello. You look like you've got a flare gun on you there. That looks like flare gunny. So did you flare gun that poor, <laughs> that poor chap there? Oh, there's lots of dead people here. Um. Ooh, stripy vest man. And who are you? Okay, so that's the f first mate, I believe. Um, yeah, so there's more stuff going on, more nonsense going on over here. Including another spike there. Um, I'm guessing that my magical portal is gonna, uh, my magical pocket watch is gonna bring me to these two chaps here. He's got another apron on in his picture. This guy looks like it could be one of the uh, Chinese people on the manifesto. I wonder how it got on board. Up amongst the folk. This this ship really was quite horribly cursed, wasn't it? I wonder what they did to deserve this. Because, you know, seamen, very superstitious. <laughs> Crunch. Oh, good God. Oh, my. Is that someone riding it? What is that? Who is that? Is that. Oh, my God. Is it like a weird sea person, like a, a mermaid or something, riding. That's terrifying and I hate it. I hate it so much. Oh, my God. Um. Oh. Uh. Okay. So you're that guy there. Oh, you got your ne oh, you got your head popped off like a little grape. Oh, both of you, both of you got your head snapped off like grapes. Oh, that's bad news, bear. Come on, identify you. You're the second apron guy. Um. Oh God, there's more. Yeah, there's things riding them. Oh, I hate it. I really don't like that. I really don't like that. Ugh. Ugh. I didn't expect I didn't expect the crabs to have little crab riders. Mmm. That's horrible. Um, you got decapitated though. Uh that was a definite decapitation by a beast. Uh you got decapitated by a, a beast. Now I feel like this is one of the Chinese dudes. I don't know. He just looks Chinese in the picture. So I'm just trying to think. But there's too many of them to... Yeah, they're all top men as well. Top man. They shop at top man. So he's he's involved in quite a lot. Oh, I haven't seen you before. Okay. So I'm guessing that this is going to be one of the Indian guys. Oh, there's been more spiking up here. Oh, he died horribly as well by spikes. This guy died horribly by spikes. Or did he go downstairs? Um, that's that guy. So we've seen him around. So I guess they started all up top and then went down. So they came from the deck. Oh god, I don't like it. Stop looking at it. Don't like it. Uh, that's the first mate, isn't it? Oh look, the pigs aren't happy. The pigs are like, no! <laughs> Stop this! I don't want to die! Um, so yeah, he must have fired a flare gun into... Oh, that's where all the guns are. Okay. That's Pajama Man. He looks like he's wearing pajamas. So I'm going to call him Pajama Man. Uh, what's happening to you? Have you just, like, fallen... fallen over? <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Oh, what? Ooh. Oh, he's not happy. But he's alive. He survives. He survives. Uh, and there's a chap there. 
I can't get to him. Excuse me, uh, relics of the past. I want to look at this man over here. Who are you? Oh, it's the artist. Okay. So the artist is having a look. So middle guy throws his lantern onto this creature here. And then hat guy fires the flare gun in. At least that's what I think it looks like. Um, oh, oh, ek. Looks like a mermaid from there. I know it's not, but it looks like it. Um, right. How, how did this man get spiked? Hello. What's going on? Stay back. It's already on the neck. Hey. Come on, boss. No. Get there. Hey. Cats. Okay, so we got a fair few names and things in that, but Lord knows who is what. Um. A few American accents there, I thought. Nick's already been done for, whoever Nick is. Oh, God. Man, I did not expect this game to take, like, a fantasy element, but that's cool. That's cool. Um, so these guys all live to the next chapter. Uh, hello. I love this music. That's the, um, bosun's, uh, assistant. So he's the Danish guy. What was his name? Dane man. Lars, I think it was. So we've already identified him and he dies in the escape chapter, I believe. Uh, okay, so you're just hanging about there and then this happens. Uh, blast him. Right, this is gonna be a tricky one because we've got weird accents and we've got names. So you got spiked. Spiked by the beast um on day one was that french out of the way beat it so this is the person talking come on boss so okay so whoever's talking to him is his in the hierarchy is above him um beat to the quarters enemy aboard what's going on stand back it's already done for nick Who's Nick? Damon would rather be Danish. Okay, well, that's Lars then. Hold on a minute. Wait a minute, trembling hand. Um, I just want to check this. Who is called Nick? Nick, Nick, Nick. Nick, 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 Nick. Who is Nick? And when did you get done? Davy James. I keep thinking that's going to be Davy Jones, but it's not. It's Davy James. Might be a nickname. Uh, so we've got Nicholas. Botteril. Uh, anyone else? I think it might just be Nicholas. Yeah, looks like it. Uh, so he's already been done for at this point. But, like, freaking everyone has died in this chapter. So which one is he? It could be. It could also be Alarcus Nikishin. Maybe. Uh, right, we've got another body around here as well. All right, there's a chap upstairs. Who's not having a great time. Excuse me, crab. Excuse me. There he is. Hello, unfortunate salt. Whoops. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Um, okay. So he he did die by uh, getting spiked. I mean, does that still technically count as a spiking? Sure. Um, <laughs> these guys are like, oh, bloody hell. <laughs> bloody hell. So that's the bosun's assistant. That's um, skinhead guy. Uh, yeah, so so these guys seem pretty integral to this whole attack. And then, oh, oh, that's Dice Man. So he's there. Don't know how you die, though. Um, oh, this is Beanie Man. He's involved in quite a lot as well. Oh, I haven't seen this chat before. Okay. Uh, oh, and this is uh, Fancy Pajama Man. <laughs> Fancy 
job. I really oh, hello. Um, who's that? <laughs> Just being yeeted across the deck. Woo! <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Who is this and how did they die? Well, they got spiked. They they got wait no I can't. Here we go. Mets spiked, spiked by a terrible beast. Now, so these these little triangles above their portraits are like deduction um, monitors, basically. Um, so it's like the more triangles there are, the harder it is going to be to deduce who this person is. The fact that that says one, and I'm looking at him like, who are you? <laughs> I don't know who you are. Um, is, is the next memory going to be this guy getting yeeted across the... Um... <laughs> Woohoo! Uh, I should probably not make light of this man's death. Is it you? Is it you? It is you. Ooh, that's um, that's not a fun place to land. Ooh. Oh man! What? Oh, I'm on the rigging. How did I get up here? Oh, oh, that's not a happy death. Um, so this guy got electrocuted. Um, okay. That, that doesn't look good. Right, so I think this is one of the Formosans. Or the Chinese. Because he, I think he's in the Formosan royalty picture. Oh, that's the bosun's. Sorry, this guy is the bosun's assistant. Um... Lars is something else, but... Oh, there's another... Is that guy dead as well? Oh, hello. There's another chap up here. Here we go. I mean, it makes sense that they're doing the rigging, actually, because um, I read ages ago that, like, on a lot of these boats, like, all the Indians and Southeast Asians and the kind of, like, colony folk were more in charge of, like, the dangerous stuff, like climbing really high on a ship when it's windy. Right, how did they die? Uh, struck by lightning. Um, electrocuted. <laughs> Poor chap. Mainsail hauled up, secure the braces and lower the topsail, work fast, the wind is alive. Now, that person who was shouting had a very French, or, mm, I don't know. He had a very strong accent. A very strong accent. Um... Oh, so it... Yes, yeah, so Charles Minor... Yeah, so it was the guy with the tattoos shouting at him. I'm guessing, anyway. Let me just check. Are there any other French Frenchmen? I'm pretty sure he was the only one. Scotland, England, Russia, Denmark, Sierra Leone. Nah. Okay, so the first thing that happened is there's a storm. Poor this guy gets electrocuted. Um... Main sail hauled up, secure the braces and lower the top sail. Okay, so that's Charles Minor shouting that out. Um, and then... Uh, yeah. And then as they're trying to sort all this out in a storm, the crabs come up and start... romping around. <laughs> and just killing everyone. <laughs> Ooh. Um, but there is another scene down in the cargo deck. Yeah, so he falls. He gets electrocuted. He falls and dies there. This guy dies by crab from there. This guy dies by crab. Oh, my God. There's so many bodies on this deck now. I'm losing track of who died. <laughs> Ow. That guy died from Kraken attack. That guy died because um, the other person clubbed him on the face. So this is, we're going forward to the doom. Let me on. <laughs> Over my dead body, you bloody day. <laughs> How's that? There's no cause for trouble, boys. Get in the boat. Huh? What I forget? You killed my brother. What? There was an accident. The robes. It wasn't his fault. I saw the whole thing. Nice. I shouldn't have waited so long. No, don't. <laughs> Okay, I just wanted to remind myself of this. So yeah, that's 
Skinhead chef. So I'm imagining, because we saw Lars um, in the crab chapter. Um, oh, we have seen this guy before. Okay. So if he saw the whole thing, yeah, so it's definitely... Oh, he looks, he looks scholarly. He looks like surgeon or something. But yeah, so we saw this guy in the crab chapter and these two. So if he's saying, yeah, I saw the whole thing. So this guy's brother got killed during the Kraken attack, right? Or something to do with the ropes. So let's see if we can find um, some brother names. Well, I guess it's choice as to whether or not it's Samuel or um, Nathan. So, hmm, 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 hmm. let's try, let's try and let's just have a C. Let's try. Maybe. Oh, yes, we've unlocked three. So Lars was killed by Nathan. So skinhead guy is Nathan. We got that right that Elliot was crushed by a beast. And the, the bosun was torn apart by a terrible beast. Woo! Noise. Who is this? Yeah, so this is Nathan, right? I would just would have thought that that would have filled in other things. Where is he? Nathan Peters. So I, th I feel like one of these chaps in the crab chapter. Ah, <laughs> chap, chapter. Um is is the other Peter's brother. Uh, so I'm just going to have a, a look around here and see if there's any more bods. Ooh, hello. Uh, no bods here. Uh, investigate this area here. Nothing here. Hello, any more bodies? So this is the gun gunny room. Armory room. There is one more murder as well in this chapter, and it, I think it's down. They said it's down on the cargo deck, didn't they? So let's have a quick look down here. Um, hello. Nothing so far. Wow, I'm amazed I haven't tripped over a body yet because it feels like that in this ship. Like you just everywhere you go, you're just tripping over bodies. Hello. Oh, it's one of the crab peeps. Hello, crab peep. Is he just, like, stuck in here? <laughs> oh, hey up. Right, so we got another crab murder. Who are you? Oh, okay, so your chap on the right. So he's the one who's like spiked on the wall at the end of it, isn't he? Uh, who are you? Okay, you're the uh, Charles Minor. Oh, hello. Ah, and you're the other guy who is on the boat trying to escape with the with the Dane. Well, sort of. Uh, who's that up there? There is someone just up there. Who are you? That's n no, it's not Nathan. It's Pajama Boy. Pajama Boy, who are you? So you're one of the Indians who is on the rigging. So this guy stabbed up him. Hmm. Hmm. So I think that's it for the whole chapter. Who is this, and how did they die? Um, so technically, he got, he got spiked by a terrible beast. Do you think that's spiking? Is that technically spiking? Um, I feel like that's technically a spiking. He perished in Soldier of the Sea. Uh, is that all? I mean, is that really something you say to a monster that is smushing you? The corpse was moved, uh, post-mortem. So, in this chapter, lots of people died. One, two, three, four, five, oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine people died. 
Uh, man, they really had such a cursed, a cursed journey. Cursed journey. There he is. There he is, old crab spikeman. Um, so, yeah. Right, let's remember that one. Part three. What's going on? Stay back! It's already going to the neck. Hey! Come on, boss! No! Get there! Hey! Cats! So he says, hey, catch. So... Is someone, like, throwing something? Here? So that's that chap there. Uh, he dies right down in the cargo bay. Okay, the person with... Ex uh, according to Lucid Dream 200, the cross on the transcript is the person who dies in that memory. So the person who dies in this memory is saying, what's going on? Come on, boss, and hey, catch. Um, so... Well, it sounded American. Oh, oh, okay, so he threw his axe. That's it. That's why he's saying, hey, catch. Hey, dickhead, catch. Catch this axe. So I feel like this guy's American. That's what I feel like. That this man is an American. American man. Um. Burp, burp, burp. Burp, burp, burp. So what American mans did we have? We had Marcus Gibbs, Carpenter's mate, and Winston Gibbs. Ooh, so those two, because he says, come on, boss. So the guy behind him could be the Carpenter's mate, right? Mmm. Yeah, maybe. Does it yeah, there's no one else American up here. Gonna store carp. Oh, 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 so the carpenter's shop is just down here. So it's possible that he'd like run up the steps here and then be one of the first on the scene. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb, just like this crab has. <laughs> uh and identify this chap as uh the Oh god. Um as I'm gonna try anyway. You can't tell me what to do. So he says, Come on, boss. So it's gonna be that guy, right? Maybe. Spiked. But I'm gonna try anyway. YOLO. Let's do it. Oh god, no. No, no, no. Uh try anyway. We'll see. So someone else here as well is European or Scandinavian with that bit. Out of the way, beat it, quarters, enemy on board, stand back. It's already done for Nick. It's already done for Nick. So Nick. Oh, oh, oh. So if this is part three, part two, part one. So this guy. So it's this guy's got to be Nick, right? Right? Uh, let's try it. Oh! I've done it! Yes! So he was spiked. That is the carpenter's mate! And that's the carpenter! Hey! Nice! Oh, that's some big brain deduction! <laughs> getting places, getting places! Now we are cooking with gas. Um, so yeah, so he was so Nick, Nick's already got it, uh, and that's the carpenter. So the only other thing we could deduce from this is that someone on this floor is Swedish or French or no, Undemon, um, some something, something, um. Right, so if we go to the next corpse, it is... Okay, it's the two that got um, spiked downstairs. Nordic, that's what I mean. Nordic, not European. Jesus. Jesus. Um, but actually, if it's Nordic, then it's going to be Lars, isn't it? Because Lars is um, in the corner there, isn't he? And I don't think there's anyone else... Oh, there is a Swede. Is there a Swede? 
Austria, Poland, Scotland, Formosa, Sweden. Philip Dahl. Okay. So maybe this guy? So it might be this chap. Here. Might be. Or... Or it's just Lars in the background. So that's just something to file away and be like, hmm, we shall revisit this in a future opportunity. I feel like we've probably identified as much as we can on this chapter without going further, go a bit more further back. Um, apart from this, actually, this chap... We could probably at least figure out what happened to him. I feel like he got spiked and then walked off, didn't he? Um, let's go and have a look at his body again. So his body was around the corner. Hello. Remind me how you died, please. How did you die? <sighs> Someone shoot the damn thing! I think he gets shot though, right? This poor chap. From there. It's like so I think he got spiked and sort of crawled off to Oh, okay, so it's not gonna let me actually go in. Um So he's died already. There's that guy there. They've set fire to that thing and finished it off. Can't see Nart. So they're still shooting another thing. Oh, this Indian guy's having a right go. Uh, that's the two decapitated. Yeah. Ah, okay, so that guy shoots, and I think the bullet goes through and hits him. That's what happens. That looks like, um, does that look like Nathan? Or is that, uh, well, that's first matey. And what's going on here? That's mutiny boy. And, yeah, so they're still handing out armaments. So... Yeah, so he gets shot by that guy there. Shot, 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 shot with a gun. A gun, 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 gun. By, uh, we need, not you, not you. Ah, I think it's that guy. I think he gets shot by that guy. Yeah, because the rest of them have hats or hair. And tops. So, yeah. When we figure out who that guy is... Yeah, looks like him. Vest man. Baldy vest man. That kind of looks like a bullet hole to me. That hole there. Looks like it fractured his hip. Hmm. 